Hey, Sneaky Nerds, back today. Back today, and today we've got, look at it, look at it, Fedora 17 Beta. And I've had this one a little while, but I just haven't got around to doing it. There's so many things to do at the moment, and there's so many distros to do, and lots of other stuff. I just ain't got the time, so we're backlogging again. We're backlogging, and we'll be even more backlogged by next week, won't we? As you can see, I've changed the desktop background for something rather nice, rather soothing. This is KDE, by the way, as you can tell. I've got a nice little widgy widgy over here, jungle is massive. Little system load viewer, <clears throat> so CPU usage, not bad at all, 20%, 15%, using 31% of my RAM and none of my swap, which is very good indeed. I'm liking already. Now I've installed some stuff in already, <clears throat> just to make sure everything was hunky dory and worked okay, so yes. So I go to the menu, as you can see, it's lovely jubbly KDE. Now as standard, of course, comes Conqueror as their web browser. Now some of you may like this and some of you may not, okay. But I don't mind it, it's alright. I remember when it first came out, it was alright. Years and years ago. Okay, <clears throat> here we are. Now they're all talking about Fedora 18 at the moment. They seem to have forgot 17. I don't know why they do this sometimes in Fedora and go straight to the next one. But hey, we've got 17 beta and we're going to carry on looking at it. You can get a download from here, by the way, if you would want to, or you can go have a distro watch, whatever you want to do, really. So yeah, that's okay. Back to our menu again. Yes, I know there are keyboard shortcuts as well, by the way. If we go to applications and we go to internet, I'm going to click there, and I'll scroll down a bit. As you can see, I've installed Firefox 11. So bouncy, bouncy, goes me little foxy, 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 foxy. He's going up here, downy, and here we go. Rather good, isn't it? So we we'll go to Google anyway. Just make sure it all works for you. There we go. Oh yeah, it's St George's Day today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We killed that dragon. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go to the tube. So I can't remember if I've actually installed uh, Flash yet. I'm not sure if I've got around to it. Not that you have to have Flash all the time when you're using YouTube because of HTML5 and etc, etc, etc. So, to me, see, we haven't got it. We haven't got it. So, yeah. So, will some of these play in HTML5? Okay. So, I put me in. So, I'm there. Top of the tree, tree at the top. We'll just click on one to see if the HTML5, and they probably aren't. No. We need the plugin for that. I'm not just going to get it just at the moment, okay? because I've only been playing with it. And I'm just going to show you what it's all about, okay? Right, where else have we got to go? Oh yes, accessories is where I want to go. Sorry, administration. I say you not. We go to the software management center. Now I've updated the system. When it installed, right, it was 390 upgrades to do and downloads. And what happened is this got stuck. And so I gave it 10 minutes to see what was going down. And not a lot was going down, really. So I just got rid of it and restarted the system. And after all that, it was all right. Yeah, OK. Now, you ain't going to find everything in here. So I'm going to put in, sorry, any word. Not that you need it, because you've got the own case, your own case stuff here already anyway. So this may not work as quickly as I want it to, all right? Which it don't. It's got stuck again. No, it's got stuck again. I don't know why. Oh, no, we've got there in the end. And if I want to install Abbey Word, I could just basically click there. So I'll do it. Oh, actually, it might as well, actually, might not. We'll install Labby Word, and we'll share it goes. Really easy. Install, apply, runs a task, resolves their dependencies. There are probably some dependencies that it does need, like Go Office, unless they're already there. Yes, it needs all them. Oh, that's quite a few, isn't it? So we'll click on Continue. And it's going to want my password now. And in theory now, it should start doing all that stuff for us and downloading everything we really need to do. Now, in a second, you'll see how quickly it is. Yeah, so let's download all that packages now. Look, zoom, 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 zoom. It's testing it changes. Installing, 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 installing. I hate this bit sometimes, don't you? But I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you're actually doing something. So this is what actually doing sync, and it's good, and it ain't breaking, and it's going to work. Okay, almost done. There's Abby Word gaining right near the last minute. It will start doing some checks for us in a couple of seconds. Finished. Lovely. And it's installed. Lovely. So we're going to close that. That's all done. We can now close the package manager. If we go down to a Fedora start menu, applications, and we should go to office. And around here somewhere will be Abbey Wood, like this one. Now, being Fedora, I was expecting it to be a really quick one. So let's just find out, shall we? We'll go to about Abbey Wood. It's only 286. Now, Fedora's supposed to be bleeding cutting edge, so why isn't the 2.9 series in there? Yes. Anyway, while we're on the subject of Office, okay, thank you very much. We go to Office. You do get the old K stuff, or K, for KDE. 
So if I go down, we've got Caligra, she Caligra Sheets. Or Caligra Sheets is their own spreadsheet program. I'll click on it. It's rather nice and it's really well laid out and everything. Once it decides to open, that is. Okay. And there we go. We'll do a blank worksheet. We'll use that template. And bish, bosh, bish. We're done. And off you go. Now, I really like the way it looks. Now, their, their word uh, section here is also the same. So if I'll get rid of that, I'm going to go back to Office again. All right. And, oh, is it doing something? No, it's not. It wants me to put widget there. No, I don't. Office. And they've also got Caligra Words. Okay. So it's a bit like Abbey Word, a bit like LibreOffice Writer. We use Professional, yeah, we'll just do that for the time being. Use that template. And there we go. And you can just do your formats and your fonts over here on the right-hand side. Whereas in LibreOffice and Abbey Word, they're all on the top normally. But everything's nicely laid out here. And I rather like that, yeah. I really did not like KDE a few years ago, especially when it changed over to 4 Series. It went terrible, terrible, terrible. And a lot of people moaned at it. But now it's really smoothed out. And it is nice and easy to use. Yes, it does want a lot of your CPU. Yes. So you can't really have whole old stuff, okay? You can't have old stuff, no. So, I'm not going to make this video too long because it's only a beta and I'm not going to rate it or anything. But if I go to multimedia, Amrock is the old standard player there. K3B for disk burning. One of the best out there, let's be honest about it, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. And the internet, you get all your stuff that you would get with KDE here. Look, that's all here. Remote desktop clients also there. Your mail client is KMail and conversation for your IRC client. We'll go back to applications again. And the system settings. We'll go open that for you and you'll see what I mean. And it'll open in a second. Boing, de boing, de boing. And you can change everything you really want to in KDE. Yes, very nice indeedy. Okay. Now, after the first few problems that I did have, I'm getting really quite, really, I like it. I'm really like it. Oh, by the way, I installed a blender. You know, I like a bit of blending sometimes. So I wait for blender to come up. And it is one of the most current ones. So five, four, three, two, one, and we should be done. Now, are we not working? Ooh, ooh, what's happening here? It doesn't know what it wants to do there. And that is why it's only a beta, okay? Some things are just not right and are not going to work correctly for you. But I'm sure once they sort it out, it'll all be fine. So that was just a quick look at Fedora 17 Beta. And hopefully they're going to get it sorted. I'm not going to raid it. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.